This is 3FM. My reason for standing is that threefold. Uh, the first is that the new constituency means that with the part regeneration we have in Castletown at the moment, we've got an opportunity to expand and see much more uh, within the constituency, particularly from the new industries of the technical sector, which is going to grow significantly over the coming, uh, you know, Parliament. I think the key area is now we've brought everything together with two MHKs, the main thing is to work collectively and the major asset that we have in that in, in the constituency is the airport. I really want to see a development corridor bring a much stronger uh, long-term strategy and vision as to where we want to take the future of the constituency. The key areas are the sort of education and skills base on the island, bringing through the younger generation and also you know that middle management level to achieve to, to work in with this new growth sector that we're going to see in the coming you know five years well, first of all is the airport itself and I think it's fundamental to see the Isle of Man uh, to promote it in a way that allows you to see it through other people visiting both business and tourist and the airport is a gateway to the Isle of Man so that's the first strategy to see that area develop and, and change the second is again is the ferry and looking at we've now acquired land in Liverpool and those are the sort of areas that I want to see better thought through and developed so that we can see the Isle of Man in the best light possible you know right down to every sort of detail as to how people approach and come to the Isle of Man is fundamental. The, the current way that the market's travelling in the UK uh, our security and um, you know, stability are really uh, important assets to the future and We've just been given a UNESCO accreditation. That's a perfect example of the th sort of thing that we need to exploit. And very much there, it's about you know, the communication and putting that across, even on an international basis, really important. There is a lot of talk about sort of high-skilled uh, immigration, and that is important. But I was just talking about um, this skills base, which is fundamental to the future of the economy. And the important thing is to how to bring in perhaps graduates who've gone away and living, giving them the opportunity to come back. It's not just about new people coming to the island, but facilitating that area of technology is really vital to our growth in the next five years. I think looking at the areas of, for example, at the moment we have uh, quite a few, um, you know, the AMTC and uh, the IOMUC, you know, the, the new college for technology, are offering apprenticeships and it's really offering that range to bring that you know that flexibility so that people can slot in and take advantage of the new growth the first thing i'd say is that just in our constituency i think we if we can develop see a longer range of vision and a development corridor and growth in this it center of excellence that the isle of man's looking for let's hope we can have a new school. There's a, there's a feasibility study coming at the moment. That's one example. And we, I think we need better links between this new growth in technology and the schools. It's something that's in my field of architecture. I'm very much at the forefront of 3D and design. So that's the potential, I think, to really bring people through, including the arts, something we mustn't forget, really important. We've had that West Midlands uh, quality care review and. There have been some criticisms, but I think the government is trying to address some of those issues at the current time. I think that and some of those things will be effective. What I think we need to do is think smarter using technology to help people, particularly, you know, one of the thoughts is that when, when we have new people come with a, in a particular field, one of the challenges is that they're worried that they're going backwards. And we really need to look at that continuing professional development, using technology to make sure people can make sure that they're moving ahead on the island, another critical area. More music for the Isle of Man. 3FM.